What's going on, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a review for Married to Medicine. So I uh, went ahead and pulled myself a nice little uh, long out. I know it's, I think this is probably the first time I've been on camera with a long out in a hot minute. But let's do it. So it starts off more or less with a, a rehashing of what happened last night, more or less with the... Uh, I think it's uh, Dr. Greg's uh, quad husband, his um, birthday party. So all that I really want to mention is, you know, uh, Mariah wants to know, given the fact that both she and uh, Simone had a little confrontation, was Simone invited? Because if so, that would be an issue. And I think it was Dr. Aiden that sparked that now. I did watch that episode. I didn't review it because too many days went by and, you know, I was like, fuck it, I'll just wait for this one to do it. What I will say is I understood why Quad did uh, the text message the way that she did, but it was one of those where, you know, a petty motherfucker like myself, you know, first and foremost, I I don't like drama like that. So I'm not going to go no place, even if there's a hint of fucking drama. That's just not how the fuck I am. But me being the petty motherfucker that I am and that I can be from time to time, it was written in such a way where, I mean, you know, I could just pop the fuck up, but still, that was one of them eh, type of things. When I personally, it should have just been, you know, I regret to, like, I know that we invited you, but I regret to inform you that your invitation has been revoked. You are no longer invited. Leave it at that. Like, make it, you know, clear cut straight to the point rather than doing the whole roundabout thing. That's what I feel. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. But I mean, for what it's worth, it is what it is. Now, was I hit for the pettiness? Yes, I was. Because I'm, t- I'm telling y'all shit. Y'all, like, whether or not y'all do so, yes or not, just look up a Capricorn. We can't be petty. You piss all the right one. We can fucking be petty. I know I have my fucking moments. And I, I'm petty as shit. Out of all of my brothers, I'm the pettiest. My brother Zedric. Damn it, I wasn't supposed to drop it. Fuck it. My eldest brother. <laughs> He is also a Capricorn. He is a January Capricorn. I'm a December Capricorn. We're both stubborn as fuck. I'm the pettiest one of the two. You know, I'm just saying. He petty too. I'm just saying. Moving on. So you have Toya and Eugene going, looking for a place. She actually did her own research. So she's running down all the things that she wants. And then she was like, you know, I also need... And some of the... Excuse me. Some of the... I'm like, okay, I can see. Then she was like... A big closet because you know I don't want to you know put my clothes in the gas because you know that's tacky, and what she said that, and I'm pretty sure it was much love that coined her tacky tacky toy. I believe if I'm wrong, y'all get me together. But it's like, mm, that was too easy. <laughs> but then you know her husband Eugene was like, okay, so but I can put mines there. She's like, no, to put the playroom. Where it's just like, see, you you doing too much, doing too too, too, too much. But they go, they find a place and whatnot. It's 8000 which is 3000 less than what they're currently spending. And she's talking about some, well, I don't want my kids to have to, you know, go from house to house and da-da-da-da. It's a fucking way of life, shit. Especially me. I grew up in the motherfucking hood. Granted, I only made one move, and that was within the same damn building because we own both buildings. But I've known many people that go from apartment to apartment to apartment to apartment for whatever the fuck the reason is. You feel what I'm saying? And her husband made a good point. The kids only repeat what the parents say and what they feel. You know, it is what it is, but we'll see if they end up going back to that particular house because they didn't because I don't think that the uh, owners were there. Simone and uh, Cizu, they pretty much let us know that there's going to be a couple trip, which I'm, if I'm not mistaken, there has been one every... No, there has been one every, every fucking season. So if I'm not mistaken, I think they said Hawaii. So they'll be going there. Everyone is, is invited to include Mariah, so we'll see how this all shapes up. Simone and Mariah meet up, you know, they talk about the whole dynamics and whatnot, you know, Quad, you know, that whole thing. I'm not really finna say talk too much about how she feels about Quad, I think we all know how she feels about Quad at this point. So Simone brings up um, the fact that her father had passed. Now, what, uh, if you think about how that sounds for them to be so close, she's just not hearing about it. And I felt so kind of way because the music that they were playing was too lighthearted. It was all, like, I don't know. It was just something about how they played it that it didn't sit right with me. And then Mariah asked, like, well, did you go back to Nashville? And that's when she said, yeah. Um, took the trip with uh, Jackie and Quad. And that right there fucking killed her. 
And I mean, you know, she gave us a tear, you know. Um, I'm not gonna say that it was put on, but I can see that, you know, it does hurt, especially when you think that, hey, you have a friend in somebody. And of course, you know, there's always that whole when you got friends is beef and you, you sometimes gonna have to pit. And not everybody's gonna be happy, but I believe from what I saw that Mariah was most mad that she's just now not finding out about it. So yeah, kind of rough. So if y'all didn't know, I just saw uh, The Real Household will be back on uh, Sunday. I will be here for that. Alright, so Toya is with her husband talking about how she wants to do a spa day for the girls. I guess kind of like thank um, all of them individually. And she pretty much said that she wanted to uh, give, you know, each of them gifts to help them. But it'd be kind of funny and all this. So she wanted to give Lisa Nicole, I guess she said, like a waist trainer wrap. Which I'm just sitting back, just like, okay. Now, I mean, his thing. It's for the shade. I know we know it's going to be funny. It's one of those where it's like, all right, we'll see how this shit plays out. So she wants to get that to Lisa Nicole. She wants to give a um energy treatment. No, no, no. Wait, was it an energy treatment? No, no, no. Yeah, I guess give Mariah an energy treatment so, you know, she can, uh, you know, be lifted off of those spirits. Then uh, they bring up how, you know, uh, Dr. Simone and her husband, uh, said for this upcoming trip that they would pay for uh dr eugene and uh toya's uh tickets and he felt some kind of way which i do understand he he was only upset like had it been a one-on-one -on -one thing it would have been okay but the fact that it was you know put out there it uh made it seem like they were a charity case but she convinced him to do it where it's like that's the most expensive thing is the plane ticket we can pay for everything else so yeah they'll do that and then of course um uh, Jackie and her husband, you know, had a little, you know, back and forth. I'm not going to play it off like it wasn't anything big, but it's not anything that I'm really going to cover. Okay, so Quad Brother has news for her. He has a job, so uh, she pretty much said, well, okay, now that you got a job, you need to sit here, figure out, you know, how much you're going to make, set up a uh, budget, savings, all this stuff, because we don't want, you know, pretty much all the money that you're getting in to come out, you know. I'm glad she didn't say, I don't want you to end up like Toya Eugene. I'm kind of happy she didn't say that, though. I was actually expecting her to say that. So, you know, congrats to her brother on that. Um, Toya then talks about the whole uh, brutally honest spot. And if I say Toya for the brother, I meant quad if I, I don't fucking know. I've been drinking. <laughs> That's my excuse. But, um, you know, it's her brutally honest spa day. So she starts to really say, you know, since you want to have a baby, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get you, you know, this little shrink wrap type shit. Of course, Lisa Nicole was in her feelings about a month, but I would be too. She was like, so what, you went to sell your light wrap and Mariah, <laughs> being a shady, just said, why don't you just go down the line, suggest what you want to get everybody, and if they're going to take it, they're going to take it. If not, they not. So she mentions heavily, and we're going to see what uh, her... I guess remedy is for uh, Dr. Heavy. Okay, so Heavy got the strawberry lipo, so that's what she got. Quad got a mud facial. I don't really, like I said, it's one of those where I didn't catch the chain a lot of it. Y'all just give me together down, y'all. Jackie got the Botox of fillers, and you had, <laughs> you had Heavy saying how, you know, maybe with this sheet, I think she said something along the lines of maybe she will look like a little boy or some shit like that. Man, with the, with the, the the role that Jackie been on, I expect Jackie to sit here and get somebody ass together at the uh from what they say say reunion. So it is what it is. Janice has yoga and Toya made it a point to say that uh she likes to run her mouth. So since yoga is all about Zen and all this other stuff, maybe this can help her keep her mouth shut. I'm just like Janice gonna get your ass. Girl, I'm, I'll be honest with you. Like I said, I might be friends with Bubba, but if you cover me like that, you best believe I see the shit is going down. Like you gonna hear something, whether it be at the reunion, I'm on the phone with you. I'm, really, motherfucker. Like it, I'm gonna say some shit. I ain't gonna lie. Mariah had the whole. I think it's the Reiki cleanse. She went ahead and did that. Now Lisa had whatever. She had that whole little like waist wrap. She didn't do it. Now, Simone, especially with everything she's been going through, of course, losing her father, you know, X, Y, Z, and of course, I know exactly how that feels. 
she had a massage. Now, if I'm recalling everything correctly, I guess that Simone gave it to Lisa, apparently. So Toya walks in, sees that Lisa's on the massage table, and she's pissed because it's like, I didn't order this for you. I ordered this for her. Now, what I will say is I can understand her being mad, and, you know, if Lisa got them coins like we think she has, if it was that serious for you to get that um, massage, it should have been one of those where you could have just came out of pocket and paid for it yourself, and that would have mixed a whole lot of this. Again, y'all let me know if y'all agree or disagree. Whew, excuse me. And, um... <laughs> Toya comes back and just shares how she's upset. It's like, you know, I did this for her, uh, Simone, and how dare Lisa jump in, do this, yada, yada. So then Mariah goes and carries a bone to Lisa telling her, you know, I should, I feel you should address it because, you know, we don't need to be going into, you know, the trip with all this animosity, this, that, and third. I was just like, Mariah, you shaded bitch. Mariah, you padded bitch. But again, you know, we need this to make the show go and for us to sit here and enjoy. So I'm here for it, but I'm mad that she did it. And around, uh, so that was said, that was done. And next thing you know, um, I forget exactly who brought it up. I think it was Lisa that brought it up, but it was a whole lot of back and forth. And so it pretty much told her, I didn't order that for you. I ordered this for her. And the fact that you had your ass on the table, it was a problem. So Lisa gets up. And said, bitch, I am not Eugenie. You don't run me. You don't tell me what to do. I sat back. Now, because I saw all the shit, you know, in the previews, but they get it in content. I'm just like, well, damn. Mm. Mm. So, with that being said, Toya said, so family's off limits, right? Well, and what did she say? With your gay ass husband. And that's kind of how that played out. And I'm just like, baby. But in that instance, you know, if uh, Lisa Nicole is mad, you probably shouldn't have said shit because she said something about your husband. So I can't wait. And here's the thing. I got these lights on. I didn't even turn my damn fan on. And then I'm sitting here drinking liquor. Stupid. But that's pretty much all of there was. I can't wait for next week because next week seems like it's going to be lit. Of course, I'm going to be doing the Real Households on Sunday. So that should be interesting because what's the thing? So the first, yeah, the first is on Sunday. So I sh I should be coherent. If not, y'all get it on Monday. Not too far off. So uh, that's pretty much all I got. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about it. Also, if y'all can see, you know, I went ahead and I, you know, got these uh twists and shit done. That was for my birthday. So like I said, I'm, I'm going to see if these can last until the first. If not, it is what it is. Just something nice for me to do when I'm not at work. So, and you know, I think I'm probably going to go into the new year bare face. Not her bare face, you know, but like just clean shaven, you know. Because like I said I'm 30 now. So, you know, you know, when you get up when, as men, you know, when men get old, they, you know, they shave to look younger. But I already don't look 30. So I don't know. I might do it. But y'all let me know if I should. But other than that, rate, comment, subscribe and share. And I will see you guys Sunday, if not Monday, for the Real Households of Atlanta. Peace. And yeah, Happy New Year. Because, <laughs> you know, hey. If I don't get around to doing it on that day, all right, y'all, follow.